What's going on, saints? And what's going on, ain'ts? It's your girl, Mary Kay, coming to you with a slay today. Now, let me just, I have to preface this. I have on one falsy lash, okay? I'm going to just point this out so y'all don't be in the chat talking about, girl, she had on a, a one lash and didn't even realize. I realized, but the one lash was making my eyes itch, so I took it off, period. That's it. That's all. I'm just prepping for y'all right now. But listen, let me tell you. So today, I'm giving you a show enough slay from Chris Beauty. Y'all know I fool with Chris Beauty. Their lace is unmatched, y'all. They're definitely my favorites in the game right now when it comes to the lace, period. That's it, that's all. These are the gifts that came in the box with the wig. I always appreciate that. They're gonna get blessed for that. They didn't have to do it, but they did. I appreciate it. Right here, this is important, you guys. This is the elastic band that you can use to make your install glueless, okay? They gave me the brown wig cap. I always appreciate that wig cap. They gave me some flexi rods, you know? I very rarely use those, but I appreciate them nonetheless. And then these alligator clips, you remember that one popped me in the eye? Mm-hmm. I been I was holding the grudge, but I let it go. I, I use them again. But y'all, let's get into this wig. You see what kind of lace is that? Y'all know what kind discernment lace. You already know what time it is. When you can see through it, you can see right through it. That means discernment. You hear me? They done already plucked. They done already bleached knots. Look at that. Look at how that blends into my hand. Whether it's on the black hand side or the light hand side, it's blending. You see what I'm saying? It's blending. It's about the blendivity of it all. And I'm showing you right in front of your face. So don't be on here talking about uh-uh. Now this is their three in one wet and wavy wig bob. I have 14 inches, 150% density. I love this 150. This 150 is a thick 150, and y'all know I love me a thick 150, okay? I don't know why it's called three in one wet and wavy wig, because it's uh, either gonna be wavy or or not. And those are two things. I don't know what the third one is. Maybe, um, I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's a three in one wet and wavy wig. As y'all can see, look at the edges. They done already plucked this thing for ya. You see, it's like they went to Bible study for you. So the, by, by the time you made it to uh, Sunday school, you was already pre-prepared. You see, y'all look how thick and juicy and healthy this hair is. This reminds me of a natural hair that's been blown out. Look at that hairline. Look at that hairline. Look at that hairline. Hairline, hairline. Bam, they did the work for you. I'm just so glad. Because if you are a beginner in this wig game, this is perfect for you because they took the work out of it. That's it, that's all. You already know they come with receipts. Every time I do Chris Beauty, they always put the lace in there just to show y'all they ain't lying. You might think they lying, but they ain't lying. They give you a sample of the brown lace, a sample of transparent lace, and then a sample of their new clear lace, which is what I am going to be wearing. And you can see for yourself how seamless that clear lace is. Y'all might think it's a game, but it's clearly, clearly not. And you'll see at the end, the proof is it's just in the pudding, okay? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be very honest with y'all right now. I'm about to say something. You may not understand it, but some of y'all will. I only added water to this wig so that y'all can see that it really does what, what it say it's supposed to do. It's given what it say it's supposed to gain. But when I tell you I did not want to touch this wig, I literally wanted to cut the lace off and put it on my head. But I gotta give, you know, I'm, I'm professional. I'm professional, you see what I'm saying? So I gotta show y'all all of it. But this hair was so pretty, it was so, healthy and so thick but i said let me go ahead and do what i said i was gonna do but y'all i wanted to keep it just pressed out i ain't gonna lie right now i'm just doing getting the like the bumps out of the hair when it's in packaging and it's folded up sometimes you'll see that you know little hump once you take it out of the packaging so you know i like to just run through it with the hot comb to just get that out right here i'm just flexing these edges you don't have to do this we just being ignorant on top of what ignorant See, see, y'all been coming to service. Look at that, look at that edge. Y'all, they did that for y'all. We didn't do that. I didn't pluck the first, you hear me? You think I did, I didn't. I did no plucking whatsoever, whatsoever. 
whatsoever. So right here, I'm just, you know, kind of shaping it, if you will. All of this is very unnecessary. <laughs> if you want to take your wig game to the next level, this is something that you can do. You can practice on. But honey, you didn't need to do none of that. Here, I'm just taking that wax stick. This is more of the molding of that part. When it's serious business, you you know, you go the extra mile sometimes. And I knew what time it was with this wig. So I said, I'm about to flex upon flex. My husband was taking me out that afternoon. <laughs> and sis was finna be fine. You hear me? F-I-H. Bye. Now, you gotta cut the lace off. Some of y'all thought the lace was already cut. That's how good that lace is. Come on, somebody. Nope, it wasn't cut. You thought it was, it wasn't. I'm going to, and I'm just literally jig-jagging along the edge, that's all. And here's the, the lace cut off. Again, black hand side, light hand side. Bam, it's blending any way it goes. Now, y'all, I'ma put the wig on my head. I put my lash on, y'all, just so you, you, you see that. Again, this discernment lace is great and here to stay. You can see me through that part. Y'all saw me. Y'all, I'm just placing it on my head. We haven't melted it. You don't need to melt it, sis. You don't need to melt it. You might think you do, but you don't. <laughs> I said you might think you do, but you don't. Okay, we're not melting this season. Well, I actually I'm a melt at the end, but I but 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 I just wanted to show y'all that you didn't you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Okay, here I'm cutting my ear tabs. When you do this, some hair will come off. I know some of y'all hate to do that. Y'all hate to cut the lace, especially when hair comes off. You don't be afraid to give it a little shave, okay? Don't be afraid, nuck if you buck. You feel me? Sometimes you got to nuck if you buck, cut it out. You do this when you wanna use your own ear tabs. Now, if for whatever reason you don't want to do this, then you wouldn't do that, okay? But if you wanna make it look really natural, especially if you're doing a glueless install, go ahead and cut those ear tabs and just use your own ear tab and have the wig blend. Okay, you see that? You see how the wig is blending into my face and it's going right into the ear tab. Okay, that's why we do this about the illusion, baby. Now look, just, just look how healthy. It looked like I just pressed out my hair to do a trim and do a length check and bam, I'm satisfied with it. That's it, that's all, that's what it looks like. So I'm literally, I just put it on. I have not put a drop of spray no holding gel, no glue. Well, y'all know I don't ever use glue, but no nothing, okay? I literally can throw this on, go down there to the post office, send off my package, come back to the house, chill. I don't need to do anything more. I need y'all to understand this, okay? Everybody up under the sound of my voice, we don't have to do anything more, okay? We don't need another hero, okay? We don't. Sister Tina done already told y'all that we don't need another one. But if you just want to be ignorant on top of ignorant like me, we're going to take it another step further, okay? I know y'all think that wig making has gone too far. I know that you think that we've gotten too radical with... <laughs> well, I got news for you. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Because we about to milk this bad boy. Because like I said, I was getting ready to go on a date with my husband. And I was trying to show out face. Look at that. Look at that. Look. I ain't lying to y'all. This ain't no fantasy, okay? It's not. Most people think it is, it's not. I'm showing y'all right in front of your face. So I did that and I just did a light spray. That is my favorite wig spray, y'all. That olive oil, yeah, get your hands on it. And y'all know the links will be in the description box. I'm not gonna leave you astray. But that's all I did, and you're going to get an all-day hold, even a couple days. It just depends. Now, if you want something longer, you might have to switch over to glue. But I don't keep wigs on that long. I ain't lying. I really don't. I take them off in the nighttime so I can go to sleep in peace and not worry about anything lifting. That's just how I run my life, okay? That's what God said for my life. So, as you can see, I, I didn't want to get it wet. I know it's a wet and wavy, and I got to show y'all that. But all day, I just had it. I just was doing different things to it. So I'm just showing you guys the ways that you can flex. This, the, it, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. But I'm going to do it. I know I have to do it. I know I have to show y'all. And honestly, I did not want to. But I was pleasantly surprised at how beautiful it was. Even after I wet it down, it was still gorgeous. I still didn't want to do it, though. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. 
basically I'm gonna take my mister which is a light spray I have water and leave-in conditioner in the bottle I'm just gonna put one side out the way so that I can show you you know the before and after so you guys can see them side by side and you can determine which style you like best with this wig either way you killing them in these wig streets okay it's not a game and if you think it is, you are sadly mistaken. I'm just going through and just adding the water, my concoction, my water and leave-in conditioner. Um, and that's just what I always have in my spray bottle. So that's just what it was. I'm going to do that. Usually I do that and be done with it. But today I said I'm going to take it another step further because I want these curls to be popping for as long as possible. So I actually end up taking one of my favorite curl products this is a foam it's a seven in one conditioning foam i love this stuff i use it when i want to be extra on top of extra on top of extra it's going to give a nice soft moisturized hold to these curls that we about to pop you can be as light as you want or like me you can be as ignorant as you want and just do your thing okay it's not going to be crunchy it's not going to be anything harsh or you know anything that you don't want it's going to turn out beautifully as you are about to see once you do this you want to go through with a paddle brush and just brush through break up any sort of unity <laughs> within the wig y'all we don't want to do that in real life y'all but we want to do it on these wigs we don't want the curls to be super duper together we don't want them to be twins we want them to be brother and sisters but with different mamas that's what we're going for with these wigs okay when you're dealing with curly wigs it just is what it is it, it gives dimension okay that's where we are with it so you can decide what way is is your flex like what's what's your flavor with this wig but you have options on options on options and that's what i love about this wig you guys look at that it's so pretty and it's still wet right here you'll see it once it's all the way dry but honey the curls popped in like maybe three minutes maybe three minutes that's all it took and if you like the wet look oh look i mean just look i mean just look take a look at me now see i i was really worried that i wasn't gonna like the curly as much as i did that blowout look but honey i'm feeling myself feeling myself i was feeling myself y'all so i just let it dry and um look y'all honey chad i was feeling this wig i love how it's blending within my skin and my cafe ole chris beauty you better do it y'all look in the description box for the links to this wig not only that to everything that you see me using in this video and all videos check the links in the description box you guys you want to get your hands on these things so you can have a flawless install just like this y'all and when you get tired of it and don't want it on the back of your neck look huh get you some clips i'll put that in the description box too and clip it up and go on about your business go on over there to barnes and nobles get you a good book come on back to the house get you a little sweet tea read outside on the porch that's it that's all y'all let me know in the comment section are you feeling this one i am peace love light y'all bye bye